Carlos Vela. Carlos Alberto Vela Garrido is a Mexican footballer who currently plays as a forward for La Liga Club Real Sociedad, where he is usually deployed on the wing. He started his career at Mexican club CD Guadalajara and caught the eye of various European clubs after finishing as the top scorer at the 2005 FIFA U-17 World Championship, finally joining Premier League club Arsenal that year. After joining Arsenal he had loan spells at Spanish club Salamanca and Osasuna, as well as fellow English club West Bromwich Albion, finally joining Real Sociedad on loan, then permanently on August 10, 2012. Vela made his debut with the senior national team in 2007 in a friendly match against Brazil, and scored his first goal for Mexico in a friendly against Guatemala. He participated in Mexico's CONCACAF Gold Cup victory in 2009, and participated in the 2010 FIFA World Cup held in South Africa. His last participation with the national team came on March 29, 2011 in a match against Venezuela with Vela rejecting all subsequent call-ups to tournaments such as the 2011 Gold Cup, 2011 Copa America, 2012 Summer Olympics, 2013 Confederations Cup and 2014 World Cup, citing various reasons for his refusals. Aside from his Mexican nationality, Vela also holds a Spanish passport. Early Life Carlos Alberto Vela Garrido was born March 1, 1989 in Cancun, Quintana Roo to Enrique Vela, an iron welder from Campeche, and Anela Garrido, a stay-at-home mother from Tabasco. Vela's father and mother relocated and met in Cancun 35 years before they had Carlos. Carlos's father Enrique had played semi-professional football but an injury caused by a torn ligament caused him to retire. At the age of four Carlos's father enrolled him into local teams. Vela's first club was Coach Wallace, 1993-2003, which translates to kicking round ball in Mayan. He learned a lot and made a lot of development and progress during his time spent there according to Felix Eckel, his coach at the time. In school, Carlos played both basketball and football simultaneously, which caused many problems between his coaches. His father made him decide to focus on only one sport at the age of 12, in which Carlos chose football. Enrique Vela was frustrated at the fact that his son Carlos was not being scouted due to living in Cancun, a rural town of Mexico. Around the same time José Luis Real of Guadalajara's youth system sent scouts to Cancun in 2001 in which Carlos Vela caught their eye. He was summoned to a youth tournament in Buenos Aires, Argentina with Guadalajara as a small trial period with unpaid expenses. In 2003 during a local competition held in Ciudad Victoria. Carlos was seen and was presented with offers with local teams of the primary division, including Pachuca. He eventually joined Guadalajara in 2003, though he never received a call-up to the club's first-team squad, thus not being able to make his professional debut in Mexico. Club career Guadalajara Carlos Vela's career started with Guadalajara, alongside his brother Alejandro Vela. After winning the 2005 FIFA U-17 World Championship with Mexico and finishing as the top scorer with five goals, Jorge Vergara, owner and president of Chivas de Guadalajara, agreed to sign him. Since Vela's family lived in the then recently storm-stricken Cancun, Quintana Roo, he asked that the club help relocate them as a condition of his signing. Vela had previously shown his great affection to his father, whose birthday fell on the day on which Mexico beat Brazil in the final of the U-17 World Cup, by carrying the cup to his father and dedicating his golden boot to him. Arsenal Vela attracted interest from a number of European clubs, and eventually Arsenal won the race for his signature in November 2005 on a five-year deal for a peak of second 125,000 fee that rose to PS 550,000 after he played 51st team games. However, since English work permit restrictions for non-EU citizens prevented him from playing in England, Arsenal quickly loaned him out to Celta de Vigo in February 2006, but was returned right away with no games played. Salamanca loan At the end of the season, Vela was sent to Spanish Segunda Division club Salamanca, on loan for the 2006 July season. He had a successful stay there creating many of Salamanca's 53 goals, eight of which he scored himself. 
Osasuna alone. After his loan spell with Salamanca ended, bigger clubs of La Liga, such as Levante, Osasuna and Almeria were all interested in taking him on loan from Arsenal for whom he was still ineligible to play as he still had yet to receive a work permit. Eventually, a one-year loan move to Osasuna was agreed, with the option of an extension for another year. However, no permanent option had been contemplated. On October 31, 2007, he scored his first goal with Osasuna, in a match against Real Betis, a performance that went on to earn several plaudits from the Spanish press. Return to Arsenal On May 22, 2008, Vela was granted a work permit that allowed him to play in England. Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger confirmed that Vela would be involved with the first team in the coming season and that he viewed Vela as a striker in the Eduardo mould. Vela made his competitive debut for Arsenal on August 30, 2008 in their Premier League match against Newcastle United, coming on as a substitute for Robin van Persie in the 63rd minute. Arsenal won the match 3-0. In his full debut on September 23, 2008 against Sheffield United in the League Cup, Vela scored a hat-trick in a 6-0 win, with his second goal recently voted as one of Arsenal's greatest 50 goals. The match was also notable for featuring Arsenal's youngest ever signed, with an average age of 19. On March 8, 2009, in the FA Cup fifth round tie against Burnley, Vela scored the first goal in a 3-0 win by chipping the ball over the keeper and into the goal. He scored his first goal in the Premier League for Arsenal away to Portsmouth on May 2, 2009 making him just the second Mexican player to score a goal in the Premier League. On April 28 Vela was excluded from Arsenal's training session as a precaution due to the 2009 swine flu outbreak. Two of Vela's friends from Mexico visited him over the weekend and Arsenal were asked to keep him away. However, he returned to training the next day after being given the all-clear. Vela missed Arsenal's preseason campaign of the 2009 October season after suffering an ankle injury which kept him out until September. He returned to action on September 22 by coming off the bench in Arsenal's 2-0 win by assisting the first and scoring the second goal against West Bromwich Albion in the League Cup. On November 21, 2009 Vela made his first appearance of the season in the Premier League away to Sunderland, playing 21 minutes after coming on as a substitute for Eduardo. Vela renewed his contract with Arsenal on December 10, 2009. On May 4, 2010, Vela played his 50th game in an Arsenal shirt, against Blackburn Rovers. On May 9, 2010, he scored the fourth goal of Arsenal's victory over Fulham. Vela wore the number 11 shirt for the 2010-11 campaign, as Robin van Persie switched to the number 10, which was vacated by former Arsenal defender William Gallas. Coincidentally, his brother Alejandro also wore the number 11 shirt while playing for Cruz Azul in Mexico. He scored his first goal of the season against Bolton Wanderers in a 4-1 home win on September 11, 2010. On September 15, 2010 Vela scored two goals in the UEFA Champions League when Arsenal beat Portuguese side Braga 6-0. West Bromwich loan On January 28, 2011, Vela joined West Bromwich Albion on loan until the end of the 2010 November season. He made his debut on February 1, 2011 in a 2-2 draw against Wigan Athletic playing 58 minutes of the game. He scored his first goal coming in as a substitute for the Baggies in his third match for the club with a 92nd minute equalizer against Wolverhampton Wanderers on February 20, 2011. Vela once again scored for West Brom in the dying minutes of a game against Stoke City to salvage a 1-1 try after coming on as a late substitute. Real Sociedad loan On August 15, 2011, Arsenal announced that Vela would be loaned out to Spanish club Real Sociedad, subject to a medical. After passing the medical exams, he was officially presented on August 17, 2011. As Vela was sent away on loan, his number 11 shirt was given to new Arsenal signing Andres Santos, although the club's website still listed Vela as having the shirt number 11. On December 4, 2011 Vela scored a bicycle kick goal to equalize for Real Sociedad his second of the season, against Malaga before teammate Diego Ivrin scored a late winner to make the score 
Vela scored the only goal for Real Sociedad in a 2-1 loss to Barcelona, making it his third goal for the season. During early February 2012, rumours of Vela's future at Arsenal began to surface, claiming that he wished to stay in Spain with Real Sociedad. Vela has been quoted saying I don't want to return to Arsenal. I have asked my agent to negotiate with Arsenal to stay here. Real Sociedad After a successful loan spell in Spain, making over 30 appearances in all competitions and scoring 12 goals, Vela was officially transferred to Real Sociedad from Arsenal on July 17, 2012, with the move believed to have cost PS4 million. The deal was confirmed by Arsenal on August 10. He was given the number 11 shirt. During the 2012-13 season, Vela played predominantly on the right wing and scored 14 goals, as well as having 9 assists. There had been speculation in the media that he would return to Arsenal, however no talks took place between the two teams. Vela started the 2013-14 season, scoring once and assisting the other in the team's 2-0 win over Getafe. On August 28, 2013, Vela scored a brace to seal Sociedad's progression to the group stages of the Champions League as they defeated Olympique Lyon. On January 20, 2014 it was announced that Vela had won the La Liga Player of the Month for December after his performances against Real Betis and Granada while also doing well against Real Madrid and Barcelona. International Career Mexico U-17 Vela played in the 2005 FIFA U-17 World Championship, held in Peru, where he helped Mexico to victory. He was a pivotal figure in the final against Brazil as Mexico triumphed 3-0. Vela subsequently finished as top scorer with five goals, claiming the Adidas Golden Boot. Mexico national team During his stay at Osasuna, Vela made his full international debut for Mexico in a September 2007 friendly against Brazil. On October 18, 2007, Vela scored his first senior international goal for Mexico in a friendly against Guatemala played in Los Angeles. Vela was called up for the two-legged playoff against Belize and the preceding friendlies. On June 8, 2008, Vela scored his second senior international goal for Mexico in a friendly against Peru at the 20th minute to help Mexico to a 4-0 victory. A match later for Mexico he scored in their qualifying opener against Belize making the match 1-0. In the return leg against Belize he again scored the opening goal of the match and beginning the 7-0 route in favor of Mexico. In mid-2009, Vela was called up to play in the 2009 CONCACAF Gold Cup. He scored his fifth goal in a preparation friendly for the Gold Cup against Venezuela. Vela subsequently started in Mexico's opener against Nicaragua. However, after five minutes, an opposing player tackled Vela and he fell awkwardly on his right leg. However, X-rays showed he did not break anything and could play again in the tournament. Mexico would advance to the semi-finals against Costa Rica, where Vela would make his return in the 81st minute. After extra time, the game was tied 1-1 and went to penalties. After Guillermo Ochoa saved Froilan Ledesma's penalty, Vela scored Mexico's fifth penalty to send them to the final. In the final against the United States, Vela was brought on at halftime with the score deadlocked at 0-0. Mexico went on to defeat the U.S. 5-0 with Vela providing the pass to Giovanni Dos Santos for the first penalty, creating the second goal, scoring the third and assisting the fourth. Vela scored one goal and assisted a goal in Mexico's 4-1 win over El Salvador which meant Mexico qualified for the 2010 World Cup. In the match against New Zealand, he scored a goal, in which he dribbled past defenders before tapping the ball next to the goalkeeper Glenn Moss. On June 3, 2010, he scored his first international goal against a team from Europe, Italy. He scored the first goal of the game with an assist from Giovanni Dos Santos. Mexico would win the match 2-1. During the World Cup group match against France he got struck in the right leg and got injured. Vela was substituted out in the first half and missed the next match against Uruguay. His place was taken by Cuauhtémoc Blanco.
On September 21, 2010 it was announced that Vela and fellow Mexican international Efren Juarez would be suspended from the Mexican national team for six months for their involvement in a party on September 7 in Monterey following a game with Colombia. Vela and 12 other players were also fined 50,000 Mexican peso, approximately 3,953 US dollars as of September 24, 2010 and the money collected will most likely be used to help the flood victims in the Mexican state of Veracruz. After his suspension, Vela returned to the national team after head coach Jose Manuel de la Torre called him up in a friendly match against Venezuela in February 2011. After much criticism from the press for underperforming with Mexico and a bad relationship with head executives of the federation, Vela refused to join the national team that won the 2011 CONCACAF Gold Cup. He also refused to participate in the 2012 London Olympics due to wanting to establish himself with his new club Real Sociedad. He refused a third time to join the national team in March 2013 for the World Cup qualifiers against the United States and Honduras due to personal reasons. After De La Torre was sacked, Carlos declared on wanting to return to play for Mexico. On September 2013 new manager Victor Manuel Vesetic called him up for World Cup qualifiers against Panama and Costa Rica, however Vela declined once again to come back to the national team. Afterwards, Vesetic refused to make any more comments regarding Carlos, calling it a close case. On February 3, 2014, national team coach Miguel Herrera flew to Spain with officials from the Mexican Football Federation to meet with Vela and Gage's interest in representing the national team. After the meeting, Vela expressed that he was not 100% mentally ready to represent Mexico, subsequently ruling out his participation in the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Career Statistics International Caps Honors International FIFA U-17 World Championship, 1, 2005 CONCACAF Gold Cup, 1, 2009 Individual FIFA U-17 Golden Boot, 1, 2005 Real Sociedad Player of the Year, 1, 2011-12 La Liga Player of the Month, 1, December 2011-12